Hello and happy Valentine's Day. This is what I got today with Jamie on the side. I, let's go from the front view. Balloons, flowers, bottle of wine, a card and a chocolate. But I'm gonna eat some. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. So we have some prosciutto right here. Parmigiana cheese for the pasta. We have some tomatoes. We have some ready-made cacio e pepe raviolis, which cacio e pepe is just cheese and black pepper. It's one of my favorites. Then we have some mozzarella. And then we have burrata. This is gonna be our little Valentine's dinner. <laughs> just finished our Valentine's dinner and I just wanted to do a quick little like nighttime routine with you guys because I haven't done one of these in a while and stuff has changed a little bit in my nighttime routine just want to take all this makeup off so that I can start to unwind but basically I've been using one of these things it looks like the Clarisonic thing but it's not it's actually a glow spin by Vanity Planet and I actually really really like it because it's my first time using anything like this I just wanted to show you guys let me get my camera settled so this is what the packaging looks like it's nice and pink just like that it's easy to travel with um, you can just put your brush heads in here so this is the brush head that I have been using every day it's like silicone it's so 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 soft and gentle this one I really like because it's still something you can use daily but I don't use it daily I think it's a little too um, tough for my skin so this one I can use like maybe a couple times a week and if I really feel like I need to really exfoliate then I can use the exfoliating brush but they're super easy to just like take in and out of here but I'm gonna try the exfoliating one today so what you do is you just simply pull out the brush head just like that and you just insert it the way you pulled it out just like that as well. I'm just going to take the makeup off using the Sephora oil. This is oil that I use to just kind of break down all the makeup that I have on my face just like this. <laughs> Do. I'm just gonna wet it, dampen the brush head a little bit, and then I'm just going to put some of my fresh face cleanser on it, just like that, and then I'm going to exfoliate. So what I love about this product, like I said, it just really gets deep into my skin to get out all the impurities. Right now I have it on the low setting, and this exfoliating brush I feel like is really just it's the firmest brush in the trio, um, but I do really feel like it's just getting down and deep. The best part is after. My skin feels so, so soft and so like squeaky clean. Not just clean, but squeaky clean. So as you can see, there is still makeup left. So I wash that. It's also super easy to clean because you can just pull out the brush head just like that. You just wash it. All right, so this is my face after I've used the exfoliating um, glow spin brush. Now I even feel like it's brighter. So I really like that. It does feel super clean. So if you guys are looking for a good type of brush like this that you can use to exfoliate, this is a really good one to try. And I have a discount code. It's just Naomi100. So you can get $100 off this thing, which is crazy because you save a lot of money. If you forget, check the description box below. I'll have all the information on this glow spin and the coupon code as well. So I wanna show you guys what my current nighttime routine has been. I use Dr. Brandt 2% Retinol Complex Serum. Um, I got this one at Sephora, and I also use the 24-7 Retinol Eye Cream, which is also from Dr. Brandt. My eye cream first, and then I'll put this on, and usually with retinols, if you haven't, or if you're new to it, and if you are looking into using retinols, you don't use it by itself. It doesn't act as a moisturizer, so you still have to use moisturizer on top of this. Now, once I've done with that, I take my Gold Fan Vital Boost Even Skin Tone Daily Moisturizer. It just looks like this. 
Um, I guess you can get it on Revolve and maybe Gold Fat and MD's website. I'm not sure what it is, but I like this because it is organic and natural, but still made by a dermatologist. So then I just put it over the retinol that I put on my skin. And this is what I use as the moisturizer. If I'm feeling a little drier, I will use this Glossier Rich Priming Moisturizer, which just looks like that. Um, at night is when I primarily use the thicker creams just because I don't like it during the day because I'll start off dry and get oily later on in the day. So thicker creams, I kind of stray away during the daytime. I, I use it at night instead. So this is a good one because it's really rich. Other than that, that's pretty much it for my nighttime routine. And that is it for tonight. So I am going to watch some TV shows and I'll see you guys tomorrow. And Jamie and I went all kinds of grocery shopping. By the way, I'm drinking kombucha by Synergy. It's the guava goddess and it's delicious. We just, you know, bought a bunch of groceries, went to Italy, Rouse, Whole Foods. I'm also eating lunch now it's a late lunch it's around 3 38 i'll show you everything that i have going on basically so i have my kombucha i have starbucks that i'm not gonna drink i got some ali women's multivitamin i got some tzatziki from whole foods it's by kava and i just washed some sweet peppers um that i also got from whole foods and i've just been dipping it in there we had some of this cheese from whole foods that we've had since last time we were there so i just thought we need to eat it and then i have some genoa salami some bread for tomorrow because we're making pasta i have some mexican chili mangoes that are so good but probably aren't so good for you um and then i have just some little energy bar bites these are like carob chip energy bar bites when you open our fridge our fridge is pretty stocked so what is in our fridge? Let's start with the side door. We have a lot of peppers because I love spicy things. We have Tabasco because I love spicy things. And then we love more spicy things and so we have jalapenos and then salsa, you know, normal stuff. And then we have some Cristal. <laughs> and then we have some Rosé. And then we have a whole lot of beer but I know we look like alcoholics but these are leftover beers from Super Bowl so that you guys don't really think that we're crazy people then we have our vegetables and then fruits um, but what we did we went to Italy and we got some cacio pepe style ready-made raviolis that we're gonna make tomorrow some mozzarella for our caprese no that is that mozzarella burrata that might be burrata i think this is mozzarella um jamie i guess got more cheese um probably to sprinkle on top of the pasta and then that up there is tiramisu i have some baba ganoush we have pepsi ginger ale we have juice Calpico soda. If you're Asian or Japanese or like Asian stuff, you should try this drink. This one I learned from or learned about from my brother. He got me hooked on it. Um, also, another Asian drink that I love and grew up with is this vitamin C drink. We have our lacroix, moe. We have milk, milk back there, more kombucha, lots of water, um, and then just more juice and soda. What's on the right side? So we have butter, we have eggs, we have this thing that needs to go in the trash. Um, I have my pepper, more hot pepper. This one's from Saipan. Stuff for coffee and that's pretty much it. In the freezer, we have salmon, which I'm making tonight. We have fireball, which we look like even more alcoholics, but we're really not. We have some gyoza dumplings. We have more alcohol. You guys are just not gonna believe me that I'm not alcoholic. I'm really not, honestly. Okay, we have some ice cream. We have a lot of ice cream. We have Chunky Monkey, that's Jamie's. Coconut Almond Chocolate, that's Jamie's. Black Cat Espresso, that's mine. Rocky Road, that's mine. And then we have some pineapple chicken meatballs that are from Costco. So that's what's in my fridge. So we are in the middle of kind of like a remodel, interior remodel. Um, we're starting with the bedroom, so we got a new bed set, rug, nightstands, lamps, dresser, mirror. I think that's it. Then we're gonna go do kitchen and living room. And then after that, I don't know what we're gonna do. Custom making our bed, which I'm really excited about. I just want something classic and timeless, something that I'll love. So it's not a crazy bed, but I know I love it. Seven, five, you drop that 
laughing at me. Why are you laughing at me? Don't laugh because at me. Because it's funny, you use that all the time. What a great, great toy for you. <laughs> I have another one downstairs. It's a shark one that's cordless. So that's just for like my hair and stuff. But in the meantime, we're waiting for dinner and watching Winter Olympics. This is what the cordless vacuum goes into. It's a wall mount. So you get a drill and you drill some screws onto the wall and you can easily just hang it up, and then take it out. So it just pulls up like this and comes out. All right, and here is tonight's dinner. Two pieces of salmon and way more vegetables. I have some rice in the rice cooker. Hi guys, so I have just filmed a video and I've been trying to shop online some more i'm like looking for everything i'm so 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 picky so i think i'm gonna do a video about how to buy or how to shop for clothing that looks expensive do you guys like that because i know for some people it's not that easy you know you don't have time you don't really know how to shop or or maybe you think you don't really have the eye to know what to buy um so i just want to kind of let you guys in on what i look for when it comes to shopping at less expensive retailers like H&M. So kind of stuff that I look for um, before buying to make sure that it's, you know, going to look nice and not look cheap. If you guys want that video, let me know. Morning, guys. It's Friday. Um, it is February. I don't really know what day it is but i just got home from grabbing coffee with my friend i'm forgetting to vlog a lot and it's really annoying but i'm going to edit my video right now um i stopped by cvs and bought a bunch of stuff and i'm really tired i couldn't sleep last night um and i woke up really early i don't know why but i'm just glad it's friday happy friday look who's back this is in palm springs today yeah it was overnight so I'm going to Zara to return that bag that you guys told me I should return. And I'm returning those flats, the fringy ones. I used it to actually take pictures. I didn't use it, use it. Um, but I'm gonna return it because I'll never use it again. I really haven't been liking a lot of Zara stuff lately because there's too many patterns, too many prints. You know, you get over it. Every okay. time I wanna wear a sweater in hey, California, it's like bad, like not the right time. In the sweater. Sweating in the sweater. And we're gonna go eat some Mexican food. Oh. We are here at Javier's. And I'm eating all my salsa. I had to get a bunch of salsa because it wasn't hot enough. It's pretty hot. <laughs> that is habanero. And it's really hot. Hello, we are back in the car, heading back home, and it's only seven o'clock at night. We are major ragers mm -hmm. oh my god i'm so full i i wish i had two stomachs so that i could eat more because the food's so good and i just love food so much food just makes me so happy but i just wanted to keep eating the salsa because it was so good I'm trying to figure out what to do but i think we're just gonna go home boring over here started yawning <laughs> hi from our friday night at home it is now 8:36. And we're trying to figure out what to watch on Netflix, like start a new show. We kind of have watched everything. Narcos I love, and he did too, but we're done with that. What else are we done with? Um, we started Stranger Things season two, but we just never really finished it. I think we're over it. I'm not sure. It kind of was getting a little too crazy in sci-fi. What should we watch? If you guys have recommendations, let us know. Please, we really want to know what's really good to watch on Netflix. Morning, it is Saturday, February 17. So many shadows over here. On the way to the gym. Uh-huh, not excited. Today we're gonna look for a plant and maybe some artwork or maybe just some, just some frames. Finally getting out of the house and we're starving. So we're gonna go have some acai bowls and then we're trying to eat good so that we can save room for Dinner. A nice dinner. And there's just so much traffic 
because what's new? Taking forever to get anywhere. And we got some plants in the back seat. I bought two. I bought two plants because I couldn't decide. But now that I think about it, since we're doing a little remodel, we might just end up keeping one for the room. So one's like a monstera looking plant and then the under, other one's kind of like a banana but a little wider. Still have to get a pot. Ended up getting the plant from HD Buttercup. Good morning, it's Sunday, February 18, and I am wearing a cute little jumper. Don't mind the laundry. This one is by Blank NYC, and we are just on the way to go get some lunch and possibly run a few errands, like go to Home Depot. Hi. Hey. How are you? Oh. And I got some really cute new necklaces from Amanda Deer. There's my N, there's my B. P's coming soon in the mail. Use my code Naomi for a discount at checkout on amandadeer.com. Some laundry, so I'll show you guys what our process is like. 